Hi, welcome back to Photographing and Communicating with Fairies. Today's lesson will be to familiarize yourself with the pendulum board and to do a little bit of training with your pendulum. So that's what we're going to start with right now is first of all, to be able to use the pendulum, you need to be able to hold it properly. For me, and there's two ways for this. For me, I prefer to hold my pendulum from the little ball on the top. So I will hold it up like this, and this is my preferred way to hold my pendulum. I like it because it gives a lot of free swing, and I feel like I can feel the energy a lot easier from such a straight path. Another way that you can hold the pendulum, and there are a number of people who do it this way too, is to put the ball, if yours has a ball, if not just this, the end, into the palm of your hand and grab it with your thumb and forefinger and drape it over your finger in this way. Okay, this is also an okay way to be able to do it as long as you have enough chain to allow free movement and your gauge can be if you take the pendulum board and you hold it up and you put it over that center circle and you swing it around can it reach all of the letters in this circle don't worry about the numbers around the outside just all the letters in the circles here if so then that is a good gauge for how much drape you require okay if you do the drape method, you need to make sure that you don't end up having the chain move up against the fingers because then obviously there's no free flow. You have to stay tilted. Some people put this chain in the crease of the index finger so that there's kind of a guiding line. And then again, with the hand tilted, there's free swing there. Okay, so decide which method works for you. Like I said, I prefer it like this. And keep in mind that when you are dowsing, unless you have some kind of an arm or shoulder issue where you are unable to hold the pendulum up above the board without resting your elbow on the table, if you have no issue, try to do it without resting your elbow on the table because the energy flow seems to go a lot more smoothly if your elbow is not resting um, simply because it, it allows again for like free flow as it goes down here if you're holding it up it's just a straight shot down to the pendulum ball okay if you have an issue it's okay your guide will know this so they'll just push a little harder to get that energy through Okay, now I'd like you to make a determination as to which way you'd like to hold your pendulum. Once you have that in mind, I want you to put your pendulum board on a flat surface and hold your pendulum over the center. Now it may look like mine's a little off, but for me it's in the center. And I want you to ask that pendulum, which way will you move to show me the word yes? And I've been doing this a long time, and this in a circle has been my yes from the very beginning. So I know that anytime I have a question that says yes, my pendulum is going to swing this way. That will never change once you get it. So don't forget the direction it goes. Now I want you to ask your pendulum, which direction will you move to show me no? and it will automatically, for me, start going back and forth. That is no. And again, these two movements must be different because otherwise there's no way for you to know which is yes and which is no. And yes, there are, there is the yes and the no on the bottom of the board. And you can use those if you choose to. However, I found as I was dowsing 
that it was much easier when I wanted my guide or the fairies to do something specific, such as one of the things I ask my guide to do is to make sure that when she is done with a word, she goes to the center and swings yes. So I know that she is done with that particular word. It's not as logical to me to go clear over here to this yes when you know we're moving around the board in this way and you know she can just swing yes right here right off of the main portion of the board so it's up to you how you'd like to do that now when you first begin dowsing there are a couple of ways that it can happen for you okay one of the ways is if you place your pendulum in the center and that's always where we start your pendulum when it's trying to show you something may swing back and forth between two pie shapes okay and there's eight pie shapes these kind of oh I'm just having a hard time with this backwards let's do it this way so this, these pie shapes right here. Each of the pie shapes has three letters and except for these two that has four. But these are the pie shapes. Okay, so there's eight of those. Your pendulum may swing between two of those pie shapes. If it does, what you need to do is go to the first letter in one of those pie shapes and ask if this is the letter that you're supposed to use. If it says yes, you go back to the center and you just re-ask, is the letter D, for instance, is that the letter I'm supposed to use? And your pendulum will swing yes or no. If it's yes, write it down. If it's no, you will move to the letter L, do the same thing, move to the letter V, do the same thing. If any of those letters say yes, you know what to do in the center. If they're all no, then you go over to the opposite pie shape and you ask it of each of those letters, okay? The other way it may happen for you is that it may swing instead of back and forth between two pies, it may swing around a circle. Either the small circle in the middle, the middle circle, or the outside circle. It may swing. If that's the case, you will, you will go to each one of the letters in that circle and determine if that is the letter you're supposed to use. And then if one of them says yes, you go to the center and you say, okay, is this supposed to be? If so, you'll go to the center circle and ask if that is the letter you're supposed to use and wait for your pendulum to say yes or no. If on either of these cases, whether it's back and forth between pi or in one of the circles. If none of the letters give you an a, a yes, you will have to start from the beginning and re-ask. So I know this is a bit frustrating for some of you thinking that, oh my, it's going to be so slow. I promise you that the more that you practice, the faster it gets and I'm saying maybe 15 minutes a day. And for some of my students, they have been actually dowsing very quickly in a day without any issues whatsoever. For others, it's been more of a crawl and then, you know, a walk and then a run. What you will find is that your pendulum will get faster and you need to be able to keep up with the writing portion of it or you will end up missing out on some of your message. Do not be afraid to put the pendulum down and go to the bathroom or put the pendulum down and write the words that you've gotten. So let's say you allow the pendulum board to spell out two words. After those two words, put the pendulum down, pick up your pen, write those on your paper. You will not break the connection between you and your guide. They will come back just as quickly as the first time around or as slowly, whichever the case. But I promise you, it is going to get faster for you. 
I also want to let you know that there will be times that you will start to hear or see or know, however it works for you, a couple of words ahead of what actually spells out on the board. Even though that happens to me all the time, and now I get, oh, I don't know, between, I'm going to say six and eight words at a time in my head before they're spelled out on the board, I still go ahead, especially if I'm with a client who wants to actually see the process, I go ahead and let it spell out the word. If I know what the word, the next word is going to be, if I'm on my own and I'm working with either Sakina or the fairies, I will just say, is that word this? And they'll go to the center and they'll say yes or no. Okay, if it's no, then I let them finish out the word. But in most cases, it is yes. Or I will use the whole sentence if it's in my head. And I'll say, for instance, are you saying this is what you mean? Um, let's say those were the words that I heard in my head. This is what you mean. And they'll either spell yes or they'll spell no. And if it's no, I let them go ahead and spell it all out. If it's yes, I will write that down. You will feel as though you are moving it yourself. But as the words spell out and they seem very random to you, you will find that they have structure. It will be a sentence. It will be a paragraph. It'll be another paragraph. It'll be a whole page and all of it will make sense. It may even be a bit higher minded than what you yourself are used to thinking, which will also be a clue as to the fact that it is not coming from you. The debate is that the dowsing does come from you, your higher self you. And if that's the case, that's fine. Everything is interconnected. So if you think you're talking to your guide, you probably are. If you think you're talking to yourself or that you're doing it, you probably are. So you can determine between the two yourself. However, when you are talking to fairies, you will notice a difference in energy with your pendulum. Sometimes with me, my pendulum will really zip, 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 zip around the board very quickly. Other times we have very slow movement. Now this could be times that I'm not feeling quite myself or one of the fairies is really not in tune to my energy, even though Sakina is helping as, an, as a go-between. It can also bounce. Now, my hand wouldn't be moving if the pendulum was bouncing as I'm dowsing, but I'm giving you the, the example. Your pendulum may bounce a little bit up and down because the energy will be very strong. You just never know what it's going to be on an everyday basis because every day will be a little bit different. What you will start to, to determine for yourself is how the energy of your guide feels. And that's a pretty cool feeling actually. So that's it for this lesson. And in the next one, I'm going to take you from beginning to end of an actual dowsing session, meeting your spirit guide and also getting your gatekeeper. So until then,